So I thought I'd do something a little different for lunch today than what I usually bring out. And so today I'm going to have soup and dessert. Something a little lighter. So I have the Happy Yak Ranchero Soup and the Happy Yak Apple Crisp Dessert. If you're interested in seeing what these look like and taste like, stay, keep watching. So what I thought I'd do while I was waiting for my water to come to a boil over my fire ant, uh, Emberleth Titanium Fire Ant, is just talk about the soup and the dessert for a few minutes' time, how they're prepared, and I'll, I'll show you again as I go to prepare them, but uh, let's talk about the ingredients of the Ranchero Soup. So I have not had this before, I don't even know what it looks like inside, but it, for ingredients it talks about tomato broth, dehydrated vegetables, tomatoes, onions, corn, uh, glucose solids, corn protein, quite a few rice, lentils, soy chunks, wheat flour, celery, leek, reed and green, red and green, bell peppers, potato, Quite a, quite a range of uh, ingredients inside of this one, and, and you'll, I'll, I'll give you a look at it in a second when I, when I go to put it together. So the preparation, this is one of the Happy Yak Express line, meaning they can be put together very quickly and cooked right in the bag. I'm going to use uh, another device, as you'll see in a minute, but it only takes 500 milliliters or two cups of water, boiling water, and if you want to use it right in the package, you can do that by adding that water in, stirring it up, setting it, or sealing it of course, setting it aside for 15 to 18 minutes. Or alternatively, if you want to make it a little faster, you can put it in with your two cups of water into a pot, bring it to a boil for one to two minutes, and then take it off the heat and set it aside for 10 to 12 minutes. So that's, uh, that's an alternative way of cooking it. I'm going to use the longer way, but not in a bag. I've got a, an insulated bowl that I'll show you that I'm going to be using for this one. So I'm kind of excited to see what that's all about. Half a package has 120 calories. So I'm going to be using the full package because I am a little bit hungry now. Been on the trail for a while. Uh, yeah, okay, there's the nutritional breakdown. Now this is different. I haven't had this before, and this is apple crisp. Well, yes, I've had apple crisp, but always homemade. Uh, but this is something different. Now I'm hoping I'm going to get this right because the instructions aren't as clear as I'd like to see them to be. Basically, it says take the package, put it in a bowl, add 19 milliliters of water, which is just over a third of a cup. And then there's a separate pack, or wait one minute, stir it and wait one minute. Then there's a separate package of granola that you put on top. What it doesn't tell me is that is that hot water or cold water. I'm going to assume cold water because it doesn't say anything about heating the water or bringing it to a boil. I'm going to assume it's cold water, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't use hot water and make it a hot dessert as opposed to a cold dessert. All right, let's get set up. I think my water is about ready to come to a boil, and we'll put it together and see what it tastes like. Okay, so for my container today, I'm using the GSI Fair Share mug, which is nice and large. It has measurements on the inside and everything else, but the fact that it's insulated with the cover on the outside is the reason why I'm using it. I have used it before for other meals like this, and it works quite well. All right, so there is the meal, the Happy Yak Express Ranchero Soup. Let's open it up and have a look inside. Mylar bag. So what I'll do is I will pour it into the GSI mug and then I can show you the contents, what it looks like. Yeah, actually not bad. You can see all the contents. It looks like a soup mix, really. It's, I don't think it's, there's anything shocking or anything else about it. Uh, smells nice dehydrated, but I guess that's not what we're after. But let's get some water in it and uh, Stir it up, put the cover on. Here's two cups of water, just brought to a boil. That comes up fairly close to the top, doesn't it? Stir it around. Now it's a 15 to 18 minute wait time. I don't know if it's going to be necessary to wait that long, but all right, we'll just put it aside and I'm going to go on to making my dessert. Okay, so I ended up letting it sit a little longer than I had intended to, probably a full 20 minutes, only because I was doing other camp chores around here, so it should be well hydrated. I only stirred it the once, I didn't stir it again after I put the lid on, but let's take a look and see what we have. Well, we definitely have a soup. Oh my. That is a nice smelling soup. I can smell the tomato, and the broth inside of it. 
Okay, how am I going to show you this? I'm going to try and lean the camera down so you can see into my cup and see what it is that I have here. See all the ingredients fully hydrated, the rice, potatoes, soya meat, it's not real meat, it's uh, carrots, red and green peppers, onions. All right, yeah. All right, let's tip it back up. But as good as the soup looks, what does it taste like? Because that's what's important. Mmm, so hot. Oh, nice. The vegetables are fully hydrated. There is no chewiness, no stiffness, no, uh, you know, uncomfortable chewing of, of these things. They're all fully hydrated. They're, they don't feel quite like fresh vegetables in a soup made from scratch with fresh vegetables. Might taste like, or feel like, I shouldn't say taste. It does taste like that. The texture is that of a good soup made from soup stock of dehydrated vegetables, I guess is the best way to say it. And again, I am impressed with just how not salty this tastes. Soups tend to be salty. You know, soup bases, a lot of them, the ones that this, I buy separately, make my own freeze-dried meals with, tend to be very salty. So I'm always conscious of, of that, but not this. I wanted to see what the soya meat tastes like. Or it feels like like hamburger. To be quite honest, it's uh, it's just fine. Lentils. Oh yeah, I can see all the lentils in here now. Okay, I would say that this is another success. It is a lighter meal than you might get with some of the other meals. It's something that will warm you up on a cold day. It's not here in Halifax. It's quite warm, but it's lighter in terms of it's not as many calories to have this meal. Easy to prepare. Tasty. Now I'll finish this and we'll quickly put the dessert together and see what that's like. Well, the soup was a success, so I think what I'll do now is just prepare my dessert. I still have a little bit of soup left to eat, but it takes a minute for the dessert to prepare, so might as well get that ready. So Now, I had considered uh, using the cup, that uh, my Tom Shoe Titanium cup, which is what I boiled the water in. I had considered preparing it in that, or waiting until the, the cup that I'm having my soup in is, is emptied and cleaned out. But I also thought, why not try and do it right in the bag and see how it works there. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I suspect what I'll have to do, I'm going to open it up the normal way off the top. Have a look inside. But I'm going to cut the bag about halfway down and see if it'll work like a bowl. So there is the included bag of granola that will go on top. Interesting. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, quite a few things in there now. Okay. All right, maybe I have changed my mind. I think I'm going to do it inside of my titanium cup, and you'll see why in a second. So, where is it? All right, all the ingredients are in there. I'm going to bring this up to the camera so you can get a better look. I'm going to add a little water, stir it, and set it aside, and I'll bring it back when it's uh, rehydrated. So, what does it look like? Well... It's kind of a solid chunk right now, with a few other ingredients inside of there. I'm going to go back and read the instruct or not the instructions, the ingredients to see what in fact is made of. So it doesn't take very much water, and that's a bit of an issue here. The graduates on the side of my cup don't go so low, so I'm going to do a little guesstimation. It may take a little longer to rehydrate that way, but I'm going to do a little guesstimation of what 90 milliliters of water are, and then we'll stir it in. All right, so. Now, I am using lake water for this, like I did for my lunch. The only difference is, is I filtered this through my Sawyer. Uh, because, of course, if you're not boiling it, you can't be sure how, just how clean it is. So, 90 being about a third of a cup. That should be enough. Not a lot. Stir it and set it aside, I guess. Well, it's quite the solid piece right now. Well, we'll see how it goes. 
I haven't had it before, I'm not sure what to expect from it. So it takes a minute for it to rehydrate, but in the meantime, let's see what it's got inside. So I should tell you that one of the major exports of Nova Scotia agriculturally is apples. We know apples, and as a result, we know how to make apple crisp. And there's a lot of good recipes and variations. My wife makes a, a wonderful, simple apple crisp that is the envy of everybody who eats at our place. So this will be a good test to see how well Happy Yak has done. Ingredients are granola mix, of course, which are oat flakes, honey, silvered brown almonds, ground almonds, pumpkin seeds, brown sugar, cinnamon, freeze-dried, unsweetened apple puree, de dehydrated apples as well. Okay, so pretty simple. It's just a matter of now waiting an extra minute or so and seeing if it's rehydrated. Well, let's have a look. It is starting to break down. Not quickly. So I have come, I am coming to the conclusion because it's been close to a minute. This is supposed to be hot water. Happy Yak, how about putting hot water on, on the side of this? I'm just checking to make sure I didn't miss that. <laughs> nope. Does not say hot water. Okay, I'm very quickly going to have to set up my alcohol stove because I have my wood stove all put away. Set up my a little alcohol stove and heat this and see if I can't get it to rehydrate a little faster. I'll bring you back. Oh, bit much in the heat. Got to hold it up above the stove. So it doesn't burn. Now, yeah, it needed hot water for sure. I'll have to make sure that Happy Yak hears that uh, comment. Ah. Windy. Keep it moving. Okay, so admittedly, this is a less than ideal way of having done this. Uh, it should have been boiling water placed inside of the, the cup with the contents inside, not cold water brought to a boil. That's obviously less than ideal. But it appears to be working as long as I don't burn the contents. Keep it moving, keep it off the heat a little bit. It's going to take a second, I think, to end up rehydrating this properly, but it does seem to be coming together. And then I'll come back. Okay, so that was interest interesting. Yeah, okay, it looks like, well, I can't say that it looks like apple crisp. I'm gonna bring you in, or I'll bring it up to the camera so that you can see it before I put the granola on. It looks more like applesauce. I did notice that there were pieces of apples in there that uh, have rehydrated with the apple sauce. But, uh, and of course there's the, the other things, the pecans in there. I'm not sure how well that is showing up. Let me put the topping on it and I'll put some on the spoon and then we'll have a look at it. So, topping being just simply granola, with some pumpkin seeds and the like in it. Okay, normally uh, an apple crisp, at least the way we make it here, the, we, you have like an oatmeal type of a layer on top of oatmeal, brown sugar, butter type uh, with spices on top of your apples and then it all goes in the oven together so it bubbles up and it cooks the oatmeal and softens it all up. You don't usually have a crunchy top although you it will crust a little bit on the top from the oven. So this does not look like a traditional apple crisp meal. More like, I don't know, more like applesauce with granola in it. But let's, uh, let's get a spoonful out to show you. See the apple sauce, a little bit of apple with the granola and the seeds on top. Certainly smells good. Okay, despite my grumblings, it tastes really quite good. I would call it an apple granola dessert. I think it's a bit of a stretch to call it an apple crisp, to be honest.
However, let me tell you, this, if I was having this at the end of a long day on the trail, after a good hearty meal and I was looking for something that was just a little bit sweet, but still had nutrition in it, and flavor, this has flavor. You won't, you won't convince anybody who knows what apple crisp is like that this is apple crisp, but it's a good dessert. I'm going to finish it, that's for sure. And when I do, we'll wrap this video up. Okay, a few closing thoughts on the Happy Yak Ranchero Soup and the Happy Yak Apple Crisp Dessert. Okay, the Ranchero Soup to first. While it was very tasty, it was very easy to, pre to uh, prepare, uh, you know, I don't know that it was that much better than one of my homemade dehydrated meals. Uh, the ingredients inside look very much like my dehydrated meals. The soup base, although less salty, tasted very much like something I could put together myself. That's not to say the convenience factor isn't here. Simply boil, put it water in the bag and set it aside, or put it in a, in a mug like I did, the fair share mug. Uh, the convenience factor is here because with my homemade dehydrated meals, they do take a little simmer time. However, having said that, once again, it wasn't that much better to eat than my homemade meals. But that's okay. It's still a good meal for somebody who doesn't want to go through the effort of preparing one, but wants to buy one that is good, tasty, and healthy. All right, what about the dessert? Well, a couple of things. Uh, despite the fact that I put cold water in with the, the contents of the package, I was able to heat it up and de rehydrate it the way to the texture it was supposed to be. Now, you might say that, well, maybe I should have known that hot water would be the ingredient to use since it is a, a, a hot dessert normally, apple crisp is. However, on all the other packages of Happy Yak, it usually says hot water or boiling water. This just said water. So I probably guessed wrong. I, well, obviously I did guess wrong. But I was able to fix that mistake without ruining the dessert. Just took a little longer. Having, now, again, the taste was definitely there. It was flavorful. It had all kinds of texture and flavor to it. It was not an apple crisp as I know it. So maybe the apple crisp that you have in your area is more like this, but this tasted more like applesauce with some flecks of, of dehydrated apples inside with the, the other materials. It came together nicely, it tasted good, but I hesitate to call it apple crisp. So having said that, the only thing I would say is be aware that it's not going to be like an apple crisp you would get at a restaurant or you might make at home, but it is still very tasty, a nice dessert, Happy Yak, and I will make sure that I, I put that in my notes to them in an email, put on this that it was hot water that you used just to save someone else making the same silly mistake I did. Overall, two very good meals, something I very much enjoyed and I could recommend. Just understand that this one is a little bit more expensive than a homemade de uh, dehydrated meal, tasty and about the same, and this one, tasty, is not an apple crisp. Still good. All right, that's all I have. Until next time, get out and explore. Take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.